Hello guys, this is Farrah Edits and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to use paint.net and yeah, I'm just going to make a logo for an example on it as well. But uh, first up on this video, I'd like to just um, give a quick shout out to um, Wasted Hard Wasted Hard Style. He, I won a competition on YouTube and he made this awesome uh, YouTube background for me. So yeah, I'd just like to thank him and... Alright, so I'll leave a download link for paint.net in the description, but anyway, you open up paint.net and then you'll come to this screen and then what you can do is you can pick the size of your your canvas by going new and then like, I'm going to make mine 400 by 400 and press OK and I've got it's a nice square base. Now to zoom in, you've got to press Control plus and then to zoom out you press control and then the like the underscore button so like that and then if to get a good like background all you've got to do is click um gradient which is here and you click on that and then here where your colors are there's two colors there's that's your primary and you click on the white and there's your secondary so you've got two colors basically and you can blend them and everything so um i'm gonna do probably blue like that and click on your secondary and then probably black that will look, that'll look pretty cool and then up the top here you'll see all these different like types of like blends you can do um, this one is basically just a wall one so it's like that just a flat like that um, this one's like a diamond sort of shape, so you can have it like that, like into the corners. This one is a circle, so it goes like that. And then this one is sort of just like, I don't know really, it's weird. Like a little triangle sort of thing. Yeah. So today I'm going to use probably this one. So get your mouse right in the middle and just that and there we go now what you want to do is you'll have to click this button here which you just press it and then now you can start doing other things to your image um you if you go to effects and there's all types of diff effects here um heaps of them and what i might do today is i'm going to twist it so you go desort and then twist and then you adjust where you want it to twist and then just make it go like that just a bit more like that and then you'll make it a really nice like a twist in the in the picture um, really good quality and there we go so that's a nice twisted um base for your logo now let's say you want some text on it so all you got to do is just get your text and then click where you want to write and then I'm going to make it a bit bigger like that and I'm going to make um, pick a font what font should I use might use this one okay so now you got that font um, now I'm just going to write Pharaoh see it's a bit big Pharaoh and then edits so it's like that. Now all you're gonna do is like you can change the colour here and then like change it to like white or green or purple or you can click more and there's heaps of different random adjustments you can make. Yeah, but I just use the normal one here because you pretty much got all the adjustments in here. And so I'm gonna do white, maybe or what's black? Okay, let's just do white for today. And then let's say you wanted it. Well, oh, I don't even know you could do that. Strike out. Yeah, so strike out gives you a line through the middle. Um, there's underline that basically underlines. Um, italics makes it just l like lean forward and bold makes it bold. And what you can do as well is you can. Um, you can adjust more effects on it, like um, you can make it bulge, so it's like 
this sort of thing so it like makes your text like bulge out so might do that in the middle that look pretty cool and then you can go to adjustments and you got all these different adjustments invert colors basically that what that does it just completely adjusts all the colors and it just changes them to that it just like it's the opposite colors and then I'm going to press it back and it will go back to normal and then there's CIFA that basically makes it brownish sort of thing um, black and white obviously that makes it black and white so yes um, curves what this does is it adjusts the brightness sort of thing so you can make it like really dark or really light or yeah I'm gonna leave it how it is um, pure and saturation this basically ch changes the whole color layout for your image so you'll see as I go along here it changes everything pretty much except for the text writing so it just changes like almost everything I might actually change this to like a green that looks pretty nice okay now what else we can do we can um what even does this do okay i don't like that um oh yeah to undo stuff you can either go edit undo or you can just press ctrl z so that's just a like a shortcut for it um you can make post posterize i don't know what it says and basically all that does is it just adjusts it like that and yeah I'm gonna leave it how it is and then there's yeah that's about it that's pretty much all the settings you can do um edge detect that just fully like makes it look retarded so I don't use it um there is mouse that makes it look alright but still pretty retarded um glow that basically makes it like bam and glowish that looks pretty cool might turn the brightness down a bit though contrast there like that that looks pretty good um let's say you wanted to add some more add some more text all you gotta do is click again and I'm gonna say Team Pharaoh. And I'll make it like that. I might actually make it like that. And then all you do is click here, make it in the middle so it will like center it all. And then you can make it a bit bigger. Not too big. Like that. You can change the color of that. I might make it blue. Blue. Or. Um, I'll probably make it black and move it down here a bit. And that looks very nice. Now, let's say you wanted to add a picture to your to your thing. All you gotta do is look in your pictures and stuff and find a good picture. So, yeah. And then all you do is I'm gonna use the one that I entered a competition for. I'm gonna use the logo just in this. And all you gotta do basically is get the picture and drag in like that add layer but then yeah it fully screws up because that logo is a big size and that's a pretty small so yeah there we go and you can adjust more things um what else i'll show you in this is i'll show you how to download well i won't show you in this one but i'll show you how to get more text text like see you might notice i've got all these around here there basically I just downloaded them from the internet I'll show you how to download and install them as well um, and that's about it guys um, you can do more complicated things but yeah that's it so anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and um, make sure you subscribe and peace out bye